Hi, and on today's video, I wanted to cover off a slightly different review looking at power supplies. Now, I guess what you're probably thinking is, well, you know, it's a power supply, Andy, how much can you really say about it? Well, this is one of the new type, which they call the ATX 3.0 or PCIe 5.0 compatible. It's also fully modular, which this day and age is a massive, massive plus, because if you're one of those cable management OCD types enables you to manage your cable runs a lot smoother and a lot better and also obviously declutter your PC build. What it also enables you to do is obviously pick the select correct cable length, the correct cable runs and you're not restricted by the inbuilt nice thick cord that you used to get back in the days when power supplies were mostly gold and they were classed as gold rated because they had gold spray paint on them. Now, I've always been a massive fan of Corsairs and their modular series. However, I've decided to take a little bit of a U-turn. Not in respect to the fact of I don't rate Corsair anymore, because I certainly do. I was running a modular, I think it was an RX 750 up until very recently. But what I wanted to do was move on to something like Seasonic. Now, any time you go and watch any kind of review recently, see Sonic who are normally sponsoring or advertising in a video, or certainly very famous YouTubers from across the pond are talking about see Sonic power supplies. So they're not always readily available in the UK, but I managed to pick mine up from scan.co.uk. Uh, I'll stick the kind of link price and, and all that in there. I think at the time this was around £240. So... It's not the cheapest option, but I always think with power supplies, if you really want a little bit of security, always look for, you know, what warranty period they've got and the quality of it. So if you're going to pay £50 for a power supply, don't be surprised when all of your products start to fail very quickly. So what we're looking at is one of the new ones, which I said is the Seasonic, and this is a Vertex GX850. Now, what this has, and the reason why I particularly wanted it, was one particular cable, which in this case, and I needed to read the box to remind myself of this because it has such a stupid name, is the 12VHPWR, which all that really stands for, I believe, is 12 volts, high power cable, right? What does that mean? So that is pretty much designed for, at the moment, NVIDIA graphics cards. I'm not aware of any others. Maybe Intel and AMD will adopt it at some point. If they haven't, you know, I've not got any of their cards to reference. But certainly if you go for an NVIDIA 4000 series, you will come across one of these connector requirements. Now, does that mean you need one of these power supplies to run it? Well, absolutely not. You don't. Because when you buy a 4000 series, you will get the adapters in the box to connect in your standard six pin PCI adapters, but just bearing in mind, it may need up to four. So depending on your current power supply and configuration, can you supply that? That's really up to you and a debate for yourself. I wanted it because one, I'd never had a Seasonic power supply before. Two, I was taking the opportunity to upgrade my rig at the time. And three, why the hell not? You know, if you like one of the person said on my YouTube channel the other day, you want something, go and get it. You know, okay, it's cost me, but I got it anyway. So what I wanted to cover in this video is one, a bit of an unboxing, what you get in the box, what I think of the product. Um, it obviously is a power supply with a 10 year warranty. So to me, that speaks quality, that speaks, you know, commitment from them that they are quite happy that it will certainly run for 10 years. There's a lot of gump from the back about, you know, what capacitors they use, what kind of power modulation and dampening they use. Fantastic, all that kind of stuff. There's also some very interesting ways that they've looked at cooling, which I'll cover off towards the end. So stay tuned for a little bit of an unboxing and then my final thoughts at the end. Cheers. So unboxing the Seasonic Vertex GX850. Now this is one of these new ATX 3.0s. I've got it to go with the 4080 that I've also done the review with, which gives you that PCIe 5 ready. 
Now the one I'm replacing is a Corsair. I'll probably do a bit of a review on that as well because to be honest, the Corsair 750 modular has been really, really good. Um, you know, for a for an early system build, it's perfectly fine, and it was capable of running the 4080. But I'm trying to improve myself a little bit, so I've heard a lot of good things about the Seasonic. So after we've got the cellophane off, we do get a 10 years warranty, which is outstanding on a power supply. Inside the box, got all the instructions and gubbins, some cable ties, and some Velcro, which is really good because I was about to just comment to say it'd be good to have Velcro. But we do. Plug. Power supply itself. And a nice little bag. It's actually really well packaged to be honest. Now, the outer box I actually got this from. The Nova Clockers wasn't the best. It had been thrown about, battered about. You see the interesting fan design. Modular side, a little bit about the power. Yeah, it's quite nice. I imagine in here we're going to have all of the cables. Okay, a lovely little bag. I always like it when they come in these bags. Of course, they yeah, do the same thing. That's fantastic. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get it in the rig and uh, we'll see what difference it makes. So, let's summarise. What did I actually think of this? Well, yeah, it's fully modular and it does come with a very long guarantee, yeah, 10 year warranty on the box. So to me, that speaks volumes and also their kind of commitment to quality. Now, over the years when I've done budget PC builds, you know, many, many moons ago, before modular power supplies were kind of a, a thing, you know, they developed some to obviously semi-modular and now the fully modular ones. You used to get some really nasty aftermarket uh, power supplies that, let's be honest, when you put them in the rig, you really could kind of almost dice with death every time you turn it on. Because if you didn't turn your PC, if you turned your PC off on and off regularly, the likelihood is one day it would fail. So most people used to keep their power, you know, their PCs on 24 by 7. And if they ever dare hibernate or put them into sleep mode, they could never get them out on old version of Windows. So these days, obviously, qualities improve significantly. There are a lot more major players in the power supply market. Um, I, you know, I mentioned Corsair. I've very much kind of lived and breathed some of their modular power supplies in the past. Mm -hmm. There's obviously others out there that have, have done a you know really good job. Some of the ones are obviously branched over from other manufacturers. So you now get MSI is quite a major player in the power supply market. But every time I kind of watch other YouTubers, they always mention Seasonic. So I thought let's let's see what the buzz is. Now, price wise, yeah, it wasn't that cheap. Um I will stick the price up just here, and that was current pricing at the time. But I always say you pay for what you get. So there's an old saying in the UK, buy cheap, buy twice. And that certainly would apply, particularly like I mentioned, on the power supply market. So spending a little bit extra to have the assurance that the voltage is properly regulated for all the components in your devices because they use better capacitors, that kind of thing to me is more important than saving a few quid in the short term which could have costlier implications for you in the long term so you know and particularly this has got 10 year warranty now whether 850 watts will be useful in 10 years from now i don't know let's hope they are because realistically the price of energy consumption at the moment if we're starting to get into the 3000 watt power supplies then Christ, nobody's ever going to be able to turn on a PC. So that's something to think about. Now, the actual power supply itself, really well laid out. Um, I spoke about the cables when I did the unboxing. The actual braided quality of them was better than the Corsairs. The Corsair just generally uses a, a PVC sleeving. I always like braided cables. One, because I kind of feel they're less likely to snag. 
also obviously they just feel better you know when you when you kind of you know plying them about and maneuvering them about they are just they just feel a little bit more you know the quality's there the other good thing is actually the length of some of these cables. Now, that they've kind of they've hit the sweet spot of not too long, but not too short. They've kind of hit that middle ground that you always try to aim for. Now, larger system builders um, will find it's really useful. So I've got a full tower, and I could pretty much get the very lowest components of my power supply sits in the bottom. And obviously, the highest component for me will most likely be my CPU plug or ATX plug. So I think it's a you know an eight pin or a four pin or a six pin whatever it depends on your motherboard configuration but that's the longest cable and i managed to actually cable manage that nicely behind the, the motherboard tray with some zip ties or cable ties as we call them in the uk and that worked absolutely fine when it comes to obviously components within your system depending upon the placement so whether you're running an ssd to you know somewhere local you might find some of the cables slightly too long now the good thing is with the Seasonic package is it did come with a multiple of cables and some of them did have slight variations in length. So I certainly noticed a SATA free connection um, that just seemed slightly smaller than the others and didn't have as many connectors. So it worked better from that point. Now the other useful feature of this, and I, I, I kind of undenied about it because I didn't really understand it to be honest. When I first picked it up, I saw this button on the back that said hybrid mode or full mode. And I was like, what the hell is this? Now, if you actually bother to read the instructions, which let's be honest, many people don't, the difference between normal mode and hybrid mode is hybrid mode doesn't always run the fan. Now what hybrid mode does is it regulates and manages the temperature inside the power supply and only spins the fan when it needs to. Now, what I've noticed with mine is it tends to spin up on your very first execution. So when you power on your machine from the cold boot, you certainly get a spin up. The rest of the time, it kind of is very, very quiet. If, and if it is spinning, you never know it is. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm quite lucky that I've got a Be Quiet case and I've certainly upgraded to Be Quiet fans and some acoustic covering, that kind of thing to try and drown out noises. But also, obviously, when you start introducing dust covers and that, it does make things a little bit more cloudy and you know, your, your kind of thermals inside can can vary. However, I've got a temperature monitor sitting in my rack, and the fact that the power supply fan is very, very rarely spinning up says to me that obviously from a thermal perspective, it's more than happy and quite capable. Now looking at the power levels, I, I didn't run any kind of modular tests on this. I did think about doing that. It does come with the actual box a kit so that you can use it in a test bed solution as well, which I think is a nice to have. Not everybody or not every manufacturer supplies that. So if you're going to run it as a test bed, then you've already got that functionality. It gives you the option to short certain pins to make it work that way. Now the actual quality of the um, PSU was really good. Now there are two different models. Mine did have the fan. There is a fanless design, which I'm quite intrigued at, which seems to have fins at the top. I imagine when they say it's fanless, though, it might use very similar technology or maybe just a heat pipe with vents and obviously just using the natural dissipation of heat in an upwards position to push that out. Finally, obviously, the connectors, like I said, fully modular, so it makes life really simple but also just the actual inclusion of power supply screws. Now, it seems like such a minor little thing, but to me, that's massive. I'm always buying the additional kits that you can get, which has and houses multiple PC screws. What I also like is the fact that this comes with a bag. And again, like I mentioned earlier, Corsair do that. But the good thing with Seasonic is it come with two bags. It come with a bag that the original power supply came in, and the one that the cables come in. So if you happen to, in the future, go out and, and buy additional cables, which you can purchase separately, then you've got the option as you upgrade or downgrade your machine or change the requirements, you can safely house those cables in a Seasonic bag with an ice drawstring and put them away in your cupboard. Now, like me, you'll probably do that and then forget you've got them. And then what you'll end up doing is ordering more. But either way, see, Sonic have certainly thought of the best way to present and store those cables. Now, what I've noticed with my PC since doing this is actually from a stable perspective, and I'm not going to say it was necessarily the, the power supply that's done this, 
But when I did upgrade to the 4080 previously with the 750, I did certainly experience a few challenges. Mainly I had a couple of blue screens. They have subsequently gone. Now, I do think it won't be related, but I can't necessarily well, you know, rule that out. So the fact that I was probably at the top end of that 750 might have caused some challenges as obviously the TDP of the processor and the graphics card move up. And obviously, depending on what NVMe is being addressed at the time and how much memory is being used, was it possibly capping out the power? I'm not sure. But what I have noticed since putting in the Seasonic GX850, everything has run as smooth as a baby's bottom. So that's how I'm going to leave the review. The Seasonic GX850 is as smooth as a baby's bottom. And it's also a very good power supply. So if you have liked this video and the very quick in touch in not massively in depth, but a kind of overview of the product and should I buy a Seasonic, I say definitely give it a go. They are very, very good power supplies. I love the packaging, very well secured. And, you know, although slightly on the more expensive side, like I said, you do certainly get what you paid for. So if you have liked it, hit the like and subscribe. And I will see you next time here on Express IT Tech Tips.